There is a big mystery surrounding the search by federal authorities at a tomato warehouse in Sanford. It happened yesterday. The search warrant was served at Todd's Quality Tomatoes on Beardall Avenue, just north of the Orlando Sanford International Airport. New at 5, Channel 9's Jeff Lovkulich went out to that warehouse today, and so far details of what the feds were looking for have not been released. According to the U.S. Attorney's Office in Miami, that search warrant is sealed and company officials here are not talking at this point. We do know Todd's Quality Tomatoes services several school districts as well as several military installations. Business was back to normal at Todd's Quality Tomatoes on Beardall Avenue today in Sanford. It was a much different story as federal agents shut the business down as they served a search warrant on the company Wednesday morning. According to the U.S. Attorney's Office in Miami, the search was conducted by both the Air Force Office of Special Investigations and the Defense Criminal Investigative Service. What agents were looking for during the search is not known as the warrant remains under seal. The tomato warehouse has been around Central Florida since 1985. We do know they service schools such as the Seminole County School District as well as several military installations. According to the Air Force, their Office of Special Investigations mission is to identify, exploit and neutralize criminal, terrorists and intelligence threats. Meanwhile, the DCIS conducts criminal investigations of matters related to Department of Defense programs and operations focusing on procurement fraud, public corruption, product substitution, health care fraud, illegal technology transfer, cyber crimes, and computer intrusions. Workers at the few neighboring businesses did not want to go on camera. One told me off camera that the law enforcement presence out here yesterday looked like Fort Knox. Some workers who spoke to me off camera today outside the plant told me that no one was arrested and what happened here yesterday they didn't consider it to be a big deal. In Sanford, Jeff Left Coolidge, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.